Hi guys, in this video I want to simulate uh, an uh, half bridge and also a full bridge DC DC converted. So half bridge DC DC converter. Uh, the half bridge is a back derived configuration, so you want to, and since this is a DC DC converter, always start with a DC generator with, uh, let's just call it beam, with your parallel capacitance. Now, in a DCTC, in, in, in an half bridge configuration, what you want to do is to design a parallel capacitor. Let's just put 100 micro and 100 micro. Because this voltage will be used later. Now, let's put uh, our half bridge configuration with the, the MOSFET and here the whoa, the inductor so basically the transformer I assume that you already know how the, the schematic of an half bridge DC DC converter so I will not go into the details uh, now what you have to do is to choose the MOSFET let's just choose someone with uh, a reasonably good MOSFET with uh, lower around, um, with the lowest around possible but also with a good uh, gate charge so this should be this should do the job and now let's use the parameters of any of any dc dc converter which are the duty cycle let's put it to 0 0.35 0 the switching frequency 200 kilohertz and the input voltage equal to 100 volts and then uh, nothing should be enough so let's generate the high side voltage vg1 and vp1 this is the primary voltage and this is the secondary gate voltage so Again, I remember that uh, the high side must not be grounded, Other th otherwise it won't work. So the, the negative goes, goes with the primary voltage and the positive with the gate voltage. And the, the parts that you need is between 0 and 5 volts, which is the voltage in good enough to turn on the, the, your transistor zero delay, one, nano, one nanosecond rise and fall, and the on time D over Fs, and the period is uh, one over Fs. Since uh, this is a, um, a synchronous configuration, you also want to add a uh, dead time. So um, let's just put uh, minus dead here, and uh, um, we'll define a, a parameter later. So dot param dead equal to uh, 20 nanoseconds. So we should be safe from spikes and uh, whatsoever. Now we need the secondary side, which is made by your transformer. So you need to couple these two inductances with K L1 L2 equal to one. Again, I, rem I remind you that uh, the, uh, this is not the tune ratio the tune ratio of the transformer is equal to L1 over L2 equal to N1 over N2 square. So pay attention that uh, this is the coupling coefficient, the mutual coupling coefficient. And uh, I suggest you do, do not lower this value unless you want to sim simulate some losses of uh, some sort. So now you need uh, um, 
basically uh, a, gr a grass bridge because uh, you, you want to convert the IC voltage that we have here into a DC so uh, the easiest way to, to do a grass bridge is to put four diodes to um, let's choose let's choose the the shot guy the shot key diodes because they have less drop voltage and they are faster and they perform better so let's put the shot key diode like this with this section connected to the load um, I'm doing this video at first glance so um, I hope that it is fine honestly and um, let's just put uh, 20 micro entry as a capacitance and a load of one ohm uh, the connection should be like this let me let me just check for a second but it should be fine should be I hope that uh, it works at, at the first because I don't I don't want to non ci voglio di fare il video. Uh, okay, let's just put uh, turn ratio equal to one because uh, um, it is just a simulation done with no design purposes. So uh, let's run the simulation for ten milliseconds. Let's just keep the trans the transient with uh, one M. Uh, let's see how it goes. So, uh, okay. Um, I noticed that uh, I I forgot to um, to generate the low the, the low side uh, the low side um, pulse. We need to do also the low side pulse. Sorry. So uh, VG VG two. Uh, this can be this can be grounded of course because it is a low side and uh, the only difference is that uh, you have the delay which is d over fs and uh, the the time which is on is uh, one minus d um, okay let's use also the behavioral voltage because i want also to check the high side switching frequency the high side switch so uh, let's call it uh, v high and um, it is equal to v of vg1 minus v of vp1 this should give us instantly the high side um, gate to source voltage Now let me check uh, that everything is uh, all clear before running the, the simulation. VVVG1, VP1, VG2. Okay, everything should be all right. Okay, let's run the simulation. Maybe this is slowing uh, a bit. Ah oh, no, sorry. It was uh, it was that the simulation was that long. The simulation was that long. Okay, so this is the the duty cycle of the this is the high side duty cycle with the low side duty cycle with of course the, the time. This is the inductor voltage, which is still in the transient, so we need to... Let's just put uh, 20 milli and hope for the best. Ah, okay. Uh, of course, the transient was quite... I think that it is os oscillating for too much. Wow, the transient is that long. Okay. Yeah, and that's because maybe the inductance is, is too high that's because it is oscillating so much I guess so this is the 
after all the transient this is the output voltage and uh, yeah I think that it works fine this is the inductor voltage and we are draining uh, 40 amps we are draining uh, 40 amps this is the secondary voltage and it is in the these are and these are the the typical waveform of an alf bridge so it is quite right that it, it is going this way and everything works fine now if you want to design an um, if you want to design an half bridge converter what you should do instead uh, by the way this is the this is the the, the switching uh, the switch current but it is not so it, it, it is very it is very dirty and it's not so interesting to see uh, combined with the, combined with the other it should form the yeah the, the inductor wafer but anyway this is not interesting to, interesting to see uh, if you if you delete the the capacitor divider here and uh, you add uh, another phase uh, exactly like this uh, without the um, without the inductor and if you adjust uh, properly if you adjust properly the um, uh, the pulses uh, basically you're, you're obtaining a uh, full bridge configuration and the advantage is that you have just less stress uh, on the on the mosfet uh, and uh, it can be used for high power configuration higher power configuration but uh, basically that's it Thank you.